The Justice Department expected to appeal a judge's order that blocks its investigators from reviewing the classified documents. All this after Judge Eileen Cannon stayed the course on her initial decision to have a third-party review of the records. It's a win for the former president and a setback for prosecutors. The Justice Department argued that halting the review was a national security risk. The judge didn't buy it. But she did make one big concession. She instructed the special master to review the classified documents first. Now, remember, his job is to go through them and make sure that none are covered by attorney, client, or executive privilege. The special master has been asked to get all this done, thousands of pages, by November 30th. The questions are, how will the appeal impact the investigation and the special master process? And what do we know about the man tasked with the job? Judge Raymond Deary. CNBC's senior Washington correspondent, Eamon Javers. Now, Eamon, Judge Deary apparently already getting down to work. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Tyler. He's wasting no time summoning Trump and Department of Justice lawyers for a preliminary conference on Tuesday. Now, when you talk to people who know Judge Deary, what emerges is a picture of an avuncular figure who thinks deeply about the law and is considered tough but fair. One person who's worked with him told me today he's earnest, intelligent, and gracious. He's fair-minded. He puts the parties to the task. And he also said he's quite sympathetic to defendants, a truly compassionate, empathetic person. Some judges love crushing defendants, but that's not him. Judge Raymond J. Deary was born in 1944 in Rockville Center, New York, on the south shore of Long Island. He went to Fairfield University and St. John's University School of Law and was nominated as a federal judge by Ronald Reagan in 1986. He also served a seven-year term on the U.S. Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, where he dealt with sensitive and classified material. While there, he allowed the surveillance of Carter Page, a Trump foreign policy advisor, during that FBI investigation into the Trump campaign's ties to Russia. So why did the Trump legal team suggest Deary in the first place? Well, attorney Daniel Alonzo knows the judge, and here's what he said. He was probably on the list because Trump thinks that Republicans are going to shade towards Republican causes, and that not only is wrong, but it would violate Judge Deary's oath, both as a judge and, no doubt, as a special master. So uh, he's not going to shade anything. He's going to do exactly what he's supposed to do. Tyler National Public Radio reports that in one case Deary oversaw, a member of al-Qaeda told the judge in a court that he was not a threat to society, saying, I'm not a criminal. That's what the al-Qaeda member said. Judge Deary responded, I know you're not. You're a terrorist. That gives you some sense of the man, Tyler. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, Eamon Javers in Washington for